It's not all fun, fun, fun in the sun, sun, sun here in Australia. Sometimes the heat can be deadly. Australia has more bushfires than any other country. These unpredictable walls of flame chew through parched vegetation and can engulf homes in minutes. Last year, large areas of the Blue Mountains near Sydney burned and the town of Winmalee found itself in the wrong place when the winds changed and the forest fire on the other side of the valley started to rain embers on the residents. One year on, the locals are still rebuilding. This is Wayne Parker, and this is his house. The bushfire is not a regular fire that you would see on TV where you see the house burning and there's ashes. There were no ashes. You know, everything had been vaporised. Um, anything that was timbered was vaporised. Um, the, the intense heat melted the glass that I had in the glass house. It's Mother Nature at her very best, swirling winds, and to be able to pick up embers and ash and drop them three and four and five kilometres away that is unpredictable. There is no way in the world other than the bloke upstairs would know that that was going to happen. Predicting how a bushfire will spread on any given day in any given conditions would of course save lives and property by helping the fire services to be in the right place at the right time. And I'm on my way to meet researchers who are looking to learn just that using a big fan, a tunnel and a name straight out of Transformers. Okay, this is this is the Pyrotron. It certainly is. So, I'm going to guess wind comes from there. Yeah? Fire goes that way. That's correct. And so, here on the, on the floor of the Pyrotron, we've got some fireproof uh, tiles. I should hope so, too. Yeah. And between each of the tiles, we've actually got what these, these little wires here. They're actually thermocouples. So, they're so thermometers, basically. Essentially, thermometers, yeah. yeah. That's, as the fire comes up to it, they tell us what the temperature of the fire is at that point, and we can then plot a map of the progression of that fire. The Pyrotron can simulate all kinds of flammable environments. Today, we're loading it with a dry forest floor that's been baked in the summer heat. Suggested backing music for this piece. Fire starter, you got to do. Uh, the doors. Come on, baby, light my fire, yeah? Simply red, a new flame. Anything by sparks. Andrew's team used to conduct their research in the field, literally. But dramatic as they were, tests were at the mercy of the wind and weather and often failed to give good results. The Pyrotron allows for small-scale but physically accurate, very controlled, repeatable tests. And today, I get to be the fire starter. Serious. Ten seconds. Pre-ignition. Water up. Ignition. What's the temperature would you say in there right now? Flames themselves are probably about 600 um, degrees. I can feel it on my face. Yeah, can, that's the radiant heat <laughs> that you can start feeling. And it's leading in the middle, yes. um, so the edge is not going as fast as the no. middle. That, that's essentially what we find in the field too, is that the centre is, is where there's most heat flux, and that's what spreads the fastest. And here's the Pyrotron's heat map of our fire. Now, the data from hundreds of experiments like this have helped to create software which looks at the vegetation and topology of a map and in just a few minutes can simulate how a particular fire will spread in the next few hours. The fire authorities can then see where to evacuate and work out how big it will be and what equipment they'll need to deal with it by the time they get there. I mean, it just goes to show if you can't hit it early, you've got such a mm. perimeter to battle. That's right. From everything I've seen, the fire goes fastest in the direction of the wind. So if you see a forest fire coming towards you, what should you do? Well, if you can, the safest thing is to, is to go perpendicular to the spread of the fire, so go sideways. So rather than trying to run with the wind, you run 90 degrees to the wind and get out from the front of the fire. The because it the goes, fire. it follows the wind a lot faster than yes. it spreads to the side. That's right. Of course, you can run. 
but you will inevitably leave things behind that will be destroyed. Mm-hmm.